Earlier this month, the Burlington Historical Society hosted an event with artist Gina Johnson, creator of Operation Home Ties. The mobile exhibit features portraits of fallen men and women of service, starting with those who have ties to Massachusetts and have served since September 11th. I spoke with Gina on how the idea for the project came about. I have, have drawn pictures my whole life, and uh, especially not being afraid of death, I have helped people um, overcome loss. Um, but in December of uh, 2007, I happened to be looking um, online and saw that on Channel 5, they had a compiled list, an honor roll, of all our Massachusetts servicemen and women who had passed away. The lucky part of it was that there were links to articles and, uh, you know, the obituary pictures, and so I not only could look them right in the eye, um, but I could read the words of their families. And what I saw repeated in the articles was uh, parents saying they didn't want their son or daughter to be forgotten. With hundreds of faces on display on the wall, I asked Gina how long it takes her to draw each portrait. I, I can do them quickly. You know, I, I'm saying I'm lucky to have so many people that help me now. They will supply me with pictures. When Now when I get given a picture, sometimes it's last minute and they want it before the service, and I've overnighted it. I've done it quickly, you know, just sit down and draw the picture. So within an hour, I can usually sketch out a picture. Gina gave me some insight into what it takes to get the wall up and moving. The, the wall is very good. I, I, I have it down to a science and it's in three canisters and actually I just got a, another container that looks just like what I have to put my signage in and it makes it easier with wheels. Um, it, the wall itself is a trade show wall and those are made very, very um, easily, you know, to, to set up and take down. I was lucky enough to have Gold Star Dad, uh, Arthur McDonald, um, you know, he really went to bat for me to try to get one because I knew I couldn't afford one. When I first started, I was renting him, and, and I really couldn't afford that money. Him being able to get this wall was just a treasure. Operation Home Ties has been touring from town to town throughout Massachusetts the past few years, and with the popularity of the exhibit, there doesn't seem to be any sign of slowing down. You know, we've got a lot of places, um, and, and as I said, my, the mission is amazing in that I have never asked to go anywhere. I go to an event and somehow it's paid forward. Someone will say, I'm going to have an event here. Each time I visit someone, another event would come out of it. So it's really paid it forward because I made a personal um, promise that I wanted to honor their memory at least once a month, and I've been lucky since 2007. Until next time, this is Chris Flaherty for B News Weekly.